Besides the fact that you might be seeing three lines, the green line, the purple line, and the pink line, what is the difference between these three lines? Or in fact, you might be seeing five lines, however, for the sake of this moment, let us ignore the Y and the X axis. Welcome to Academic Coordinates, and in this video, we're tackling analytical geometry, right? So you are seeing the green line, the purple line, and the pink line. All the lines pass through the origin, right? So this means that the y-intercept equals to 0. When x is equal to 0, y will equal to 0, right? So the pink line is the gentleness of all the lines. The purple line is steeper than the pink line. However, it's much more gentler compared to the green line. And the green line is the steepest of all the lines, right? So in this video, we're going to learn how to find the gradient of a line and the implication that the gradient of a line has on the line itself right so the gradient of a line has got a formula the change in the y values um divided by the change in the x values right so basically um the gradient measures the steepness of a line so this is gonna be y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2 so this is the formula that we use to find the gradient of a line right or you can also um, write it as y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. This is also called the slope of a line, right? Of a line. The slope of a line. You know what I'm saying? Let's say um, we've got a positive gradient. Um, how will our lines look? Or how will our particular line look? Okay, so this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis. Um, and we've got also a negative gradient. How will um, our line look like? You know what I'm saying? This is the y-axis, the x-axis, right? So if the slope is positive, our line will look like this. No, right? So our lines will be something like this. However, if the slope is a negative, our line, like this you know what i'm saying um you know you can put the arrows there right okay guys so let's say we've got a line right here let's say we've got a line like something like this for example and this is a and this is b um let's say a is um i don't know four and negative one, right? And B is, um, let's say two, I'm sorry. Um, let's say um, negative two and one, for example, right? So let's say you've got this line, line uh, B, A or line A, B, or let's say, let's just call it line L1, right? This is the X axis and the Y axis right and then they you are asked to find the slope or the gradient of this line you know what i'm saying okay so basically the gradient of the line a b or the gradient of the line l1 equals to um the change in the y divided by the change in the x okay so y let's say y1 minus y2 divide by um, x1 minus x2, you know what I'm saying? And also here, guys, if this is y1, this has to be x1, right? If this is y2, this has got to be x2. You, you know, you cannot um, just write maybe y1 minus y2, and then um, for the denominator, you just, you know, decide that, you know what, I'm just going to write x2 minus x1. It's not going to give you the right answer. So just be careful of that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so these are the coordinates that we have right here. Let's just call um, A, X1, and Y1. And this one, X2, and Y2. You know what I'm saying? So let us find the slope here. You know, so Y1 is negative 1, minus 1, okay? And Y2 is, Y2 is 1. So negative 1 minus 1 divided by x1 is 4, x2 is negative 2. So 4 minus minus 2, right? Okay. So this is negative 2 divided by 
a negative multiplied by a negative is going to be a positive, right? So this is going to be 4 plus 2, which is 6. Hence, the gradient of our line L1 will be 1 over 3, you know? And hence, we can see, guys, that our line is in this manner. Hence, we have got a negative gradient. And also for these lines, you can you guys can appreciate that all these lines will have a positive gradient, right? So this is how you find the gradient, guys. Um, you know, of a line being given two points. You know what I'm saying? And also, I would like to bring something, guys, to your attention. Um, secondly, um, about the y-axis. The y-axis itself. And I want us to know that the y-axis is a vertical line, right? Okay, cool. Um, this is the y-axis. You know, that's not the straightest line you've ever seen in life. You know, let's just say this is zero right here. You know, okay. So let's let's just um take a moment and say we are finding the gradient of the y-axis. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So y one minus y two divided by x one minus x two. Right. Okay. Looking here, looking at the y-axis, for example. Let's use this one. Looking at the y-axis, um, there is a change in these values, right? You know, there's a change uh, between um, the values like on the y-axis, right? So we can find this change. So the change in y exists divided by... Um, okay, the, the change in the x values for the y-axis right x is equals to zero right and hence there is no change um in the x axis so the change in x is equals to zero but now we're gonna fall into something that we don't want so we're gonna have something like the gradient of the y axis or let me say the gradient of a vertical line vertical line is equals to change in y right which we can find divide by the change in x so the change in y we will be able to find but we're going to divide by zero and so looking here right this is not one of those times where you're gonna collapse you know what i'm saying and give up but just look at it the whatever um value that we can divide by zero is undefined right so basically um the gradient of the y axis is undefined hence we can conclude that the gradient of a vertical line is undefined right okay guys so basically if they give you a vertical line maybe it's y maybe line y is equals to sorry um line x is equals to one right let me just put it here uh let me see that say you're given a line like this this is one here x y. so you're given a line like this this say find the gradient of this line and you know that this line is the vertical they say they give you maybe a line a vertical line right and they tell you to find the gradient and then you get to a point where you find something like this um do not even you know, stand up from your desk and run away. The gradient is undefined. Okay, guys, and lastly, I want us to look at the gradient of the x-axis, right? Or we can say the gradient of the horizontal line. You know what I'm saying? So the gradient of, let's just write like, um, let's write HL for horizontal line, right? The change in y divided by the change in x. Okay, guys. Looking here, um, if our line is, um, let's look at let's look at this one. We have got a horizontal line here. We can have okay. The equation of this line is y is equal to zero. We can have another line here. Y is equal to one. Y is equal to two. Y is equal to three, and so on. Y is equal to negative one. Y is equal to um negative two and stuff like that you know what i'm saying so what is the gradient of that you know so 
the y values right the y values of a horizontal line are not changing you know what i'm saying for example if you have a line y is equals to zero um y is equals to zero will be the only value of y like you will not have like y is equals to one. There is no change, right, in the values of y. And hence, um, for this, we'll have zero, right, for the change in the y's. But the change in the values of x, looking here at this horizontal line, the values of x are changing. They are changing, right? So we'll have um, a value right here. So zero divided by a certain value will equal to zero. You know, so we can write that the gradient, you know, or the slope of a horizontal horizontal line um equals to zero. You know what I'm saying? Um when you find that um the gradient of a line equals to zero, don't even you know um stress yourself and be like what is happening just look at it you know you will find that it's a horizontal line all right guys um i trust you understood this how to find the gradient of a line a gradient measures the steepness of a line you know what i'm saying so if you've got any questions please comment below or email me you know we are so much keen to assist you guys especially now that i'm doing this video during lockdown you know what i'm saying um, do enjoy yourselves guys and stay blessed kindly subscribe to our channel tell your friends tell your parents tell your you know your uncles to come and subscribe you know what i'm saying we love you guys so much if you've got any questions feel free to you know to post them to us and we'll be glad to assist you guys and everything test